How's everybody doing? Tinkering with Harleys. First, I want to thank everybody who subscribed. I appreciate it. And if you're watching these videos and you like them, by all means, please subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, again, I've gotten lots of great comments, lots of great emails. I answer every one of them. And that brings me to, um, I got uh, an email where I was made aware of one of the viewers who follows the channel. He's followed it for a long time. I want to give him a shout out. He's had surgery and he's been laid up for a while and probably going to be laid up for a little bit more. Um, so just wanted to give Steve a shout out and say speedy pain free recovery brother and so you can get back in the wind. So now that we got that all behind us, um, we're going to get on to today's video. Today's video, what we're going to be doing is stripping the gears off the main shaft and getting the shafts out of the door. So with no more said, let's get to it. Okay, this is the gear set out of that transmission. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stripping all these gears off of here and taking the counter shaft out and the main shaft out so we can get it rebuilt. Now the one thing you need to do before you start this job is make sure you have your service manual. It gives you step by step on how to do this. Um, now, unless you do this for a living every day, this is something you need to have because you don't want to get things mixed up and it's very easy to do. Now, the way I do it, um, you know, different people have different methods of when they strip gears off. Uh, the way I do it, um, as I take the gears off, I've got a stand that I actually put them on, which I will show you. Now, this is actually a cr old crutch. And what I did was I cut it off. And if you notice, one shorter and then the other one is longer. This would represent the main shaft. This would represent the counter shaft. So as I strip the gears off, as I take them off the counter shaft, I take them and I put them, slide them down on here. And I put them in the opposite order, like the first gear off would go upside down onto this. And continually so everything is always in the right order so uh, now that you see how I do it um, we can start to take care of this now I want to make sure you have the right camera angle on this now as you t we take these gears off we're going to be um, examining each one um, and we're going to be cleaning them all. Uh, the cleaning I'm not going to show you um, but uh, I will show you inspecting them and everything I've seen on this gear set uh, these gears look pretty good but since this is a transmission that this is two transmissions put together um, for demonstration purposes and we're, we're just going to turn it into a functional transmission but I don't want to do it with old parts that's why we're rebuilding it so now we'll we'll get started okay so we're going to start this now but before you get started there's a couple of things you need to have a screwdriver um, and you need to have uh, retaining ring pliers or snap ring pliers or lock ring pliers there if you can see these these are special they're made just for this so uh, we're going to do this according to the manual and what the manual 
tells us is we start at the counter shaft. It says remove retaining ring from the counter shaft 6, which is this retaining ring right here. And this is a counter shaft. And then remove counter shaft 5th gear, which is this one right here. This is counter shaft 5th gear. And counter shaft 2nd gear, which is right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you get your pliers in there like that. And you spread that ring apart and take that off. And then we're going to walk over to our stand and slip that right on there like that. And then we're going to take the gear off and we're going to examine the gear for any damage and we're not seeing any so we are going to take and we're going to put this over on the shaft on the stand now we are going to remove this gear just like that and examine this one and this one looks good and you can see the teeth in here for the dog gear which is down here and we're going to put this one in on the on the stand also now we're going to get down here and we're going to remove the bearing. If you can see right here, there is a bearing right here. Now we're going to change the camera angle on this so you can get a better look at it. Okay, now we got the camera angle changed. Now you can see right there, there's a bearing. And it's a compression bearing right here. It it's, fits together. Now you just take your fingers like that and you pull it apart and slip it up over the shaft now we are going to remove the next clip which is right here we've already got the bearing out so we'll get this clip out that clip and we'll set that on the counter shaft stand and this is counter shaft third gear and now we just slip that right off of there and again we'll examine it for any damage and there isn't any uh, and this is also a dog right here if that's where your your ship fork goes in there now we're going to turn our attention to the main shaft. So we'll turn the, it around. And this is your main shaft. Now this is second gear on your main shaft. So we remove that. And that goes over onto the stand. Now we have a retaining ring here. So we'll twist that around. I don't know if you can get a good look at that or not. You can see it right there. Now you remove, you spin the gear so it's in between the, the teeth. Yeah, let's do this on the other side. So it's. And you get your, and you just pop it off of there. This one is sometimes a little bit tough. It gets caught underneath that teeth sometimes, so you got to work it a little bit with a screwdriver. And once you get it up above these teeth it'll slip right off and 
and there it comes. And now we'll take and we remove, this is third gear. And we'll remove that right off of there. And there is a retaining, uh, a spacer right here. So we'll put that on the main shaft. And here is another bearing. And let's find the split right there. And you just take your fingers and pull that apart and slide that right up and over. And now we have one more retaining ring. And we'll get that over. And that one comes right off. Now, as you look at these gears, they can't slide up over the shaft this way. They have to come, and they have to be pressed out. And they, they come off the front side of the shafts or the door side of the shafts, and they slide out that way. Um, and underneath here, on both shafts, there are, there's a bearing on each, uh, on each of the shafts underneath these gears, which we will be removing once we get the shafts out. So, we'll go over to the press and we will press these out. Okay, now we're ready to press out the the shafts. We're going to do the counter shaft first. But now, if you remember back in the first video I did, I told you to crack the uh, these nuts here. This is where it becomes important. You take them right off of there. And these are not going to be reused. get that off of there there's a little spacer in there and put them off to the side and now we're going to get the counter shaft out first and you have to support the the gears when you do this That looks pretty good. <clears throat> there she goes. And very slowly, you just press it out of the bearing. Now that's one, so we'll get over and we'll do the main shaft now and now we'll support the, the gear in there and we will get the main shaft out and there's the main shaft Okay, so now we've got the counter shaft here and the main shaft here. So you've got a spacer here and you slip that off. Then you pull this off and this off. And then we'll take this over to the stand and we will put this right on the stand and now we have here's the bearing that was left right here so we'll take and we'll pull that off and slide that over 
And here's the last C clip or snap ring. And we'll take that off. I'll take that off later. So this shaft, this counter shaft looks excellent. I don't see any indication of gouging or wear or burning all the splines are good so this is good to go this, this is very rebuildable and now we'll get to the main shaft and the same thing we've got the spacer here and we'll put that on holder and there's another spacer that goes in there like that and this bearing uh, yep this bearing fell right out <laughs> and slide that right off of there Get this all wiped up. And these shafts look really good. No damage on them. They are in excellent shape. And that's where this bearing goes, is right here. It goes in between the gears. And when you press this down, you got to be really careful because you can crush this, wash, uh, this, this bearing. So, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's how you, you, you strip the gears off the shafts and take the shafts out. Now, I didn't take all the thrust thrush washers out um, I'll, I'll show you those going back in um, but yeah it, it, as long as you follow the service manual you won't have any problem uh, taking a trans apart if you've never done it before and even if you have done it before and this is this transmission that I'm working on is between the parts are from a 2000 to a, I believe a 2003 so, um, I want to thank you all for watching, and until next time, everybody be safe out there.